Libra, welcome. How are you? This is your uh, weekend tarot reading. And um, we're just going to go into the energy, see what, you know, Spirit is saying for Libra. If you've got Libra anywhere in your chart, you may resonate. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. So, Spirit, <laughs> please show us what's going on for Libra. Um, around the weekend, the next few days, divinely timed. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. You know, and that's what all great friendships do. Um, you know, and that's what I've been trying to work on, just seeing, seeing my relationships like friendships, because it's so easy in friendships to give people space. <laughs> it's just intimate, like the intimate attachments that we find it's harder. It's harder to just, you know, give people complete free reign. Um, so yeah, so, space is important for us as well. It's not just about giving other people space. It's because we need the space, isn't it? To find ourselves. Um, and that's what I've been working on. Um, retrieving a dream. Okay. A dream's going to come back for us. Interesting. We're going to find a dream coming back. Hmm. Interesting. So unexpectedly, you may find something unexpectedly happens, surprises you, something that you might have given up hope on. You know, you've been very careful lately. <laughs> We've been very careful because we realise we weren't being careful. We weren't being careful with our heart. Um, we weren't being careful with our feelings. And basically it was like, oh my God, <laughs> I don't want to go through this again. This is this is damn nearly killed me, you know? Um, new new beginning like we know our sort of value we know our worth and it's a fertile time the path has been chosen we've chosen our path i know i have lately <laughs> in june i chose my path and i was like finally accepting my path the way it is not the way in my head i wanted it to be but actually the way it is and the best way that i can work with that because god is giving me certain things right now and i need to utilize what i'm being given and make the best of that because that's gratitude rather than in my head feeling resentful and bitter and wishing I had something else you know empress knows you know the thing is we're, we're growing in value we're more centered you know we know our worth and we're able to just kind of work with what we've got and and be real you know be real be authentic and do the best we can you know it's a much better vibe that Libra is now in um you know but it's not been easy because we had to pull ourselves out of situations where we had to kind of learn to protect ourselves you know because we we give we we give way too much don't we um now the good news is king of pentacles <laughs> is, oh, well we've got the midas touch <laughs> we're gonna have the midas touch over the next few days okay and uh could be quite interesting it could be quite interesting because um Empress to the King of Pentacles, that's like the, almost like a king and queen of the whole tarot, almost. And they're both earth energy because the Empress is earth energy. The King of Pentacles is earth energy. So, you know, we're definitely a he hell of a lot more grounded than we were, which is very good. Um, so we're in the here and now. We're accepting things more. We've learned how to value ourselves and we've learned the path that we need to be on. And now that means we're in alignment, right? That means we're in alignment. And now we're moving forward on that path in alignment. Boom, boom, boom. Everything starts to happen. Everything starts to turn to gold. Because <laughs> that's what happens with the King of Pentacles. Everything starts to turn to gold. And maybe that's how a dream is going to sort of come back. Boom. Just when you least expected it. Just when you thought it ain't going to happen. But then it does. It just does. Now, you have been connected to somebody who's very defensive. Very, very defensive. And it's like, my God, what battle is it you think you're going to win? Because there ain't no battle with me. <laughs> there ain't no battle with me because I'm an empress. And I actually, I'm all right on my own, thank you very much. So there's no battle to be had, but this person's just so defensive. Uh, they've 
you know, they upset people everywhere they go. <laughs> they upset people everywhere they go because they want to handle all the power. They want to have all the power. But you are an empress. We are an empress. It doesn't matter what gender we are, but we are an empress. So that energy is very spiritual, but it's grounding and it brings the unmanifested into the manifested. So it means that really <laughs> this person is kind of wasting their time uh, because they, they're not really affecting us anymore. We've come into our own. And I know I feel like that at the moment. I feel like I'm making my own happiness through spirit rather than trying to make my happiness from somebody else. So this person is missing the point. They don't get you. They don't get you at all. Uh, but they will. Because <laughs> they're going to realise that you've got it going on. And I don't mean that in an egotistical kind of way. I'm just reading the cards. This person's going to realise that the whole time they've been trying to prove something. Or have the upper hand. It just doesn't matter. Because you're not needy anymore. And... Um, you're making your own success. You're making your own luck anyway. Uh, okay, send me love. I, I'm sorry. Send me love and healing. I am struggling. Yeah, I mean, I do. I think this person is struggling. I wouldn't say be nasty to this person by any means. Uh, I wouldn't say be nasty to anyone uh, because everyone's creating their own karma. But um, it's just frustrating to see that person there because, you know, they're just living a very cold life. For what? For what? But it's fine because you're you are more centered and grounded. You're further on in your healing journey than that person, and things are going to start turning around for us now. Things are definitely going to start to have that Midas touch. Um, spirit is saying the words "keeping up," immense effort, advance, keeping up. Huh. Well, can this person keep up with you? That's the thing. You know, can they really keep up with you? Because something could be about to manifest that you least expect uh, that's going to make you happy. And this person that's been putting up a wall the whole time, it's been futile because you just you just keep chucking forward. Libra just keeps moving forward and going from strength to strength. Money looking very good for you, by the way. Um, opportunities of all kinds looking very good for you. Health very good um, on all levels um so yeah just i would say just be a friend with this person um they are going through their difficulties you know that but honestly your spirit guides are kind of saying look the, the their time is nearly up uh, because you probably are you don't probably realize it libra but you're kind of on the verge of something new happening in your life so it's going to be interesting to see isn't it what what that is Anyway, I'm interested to see. Mm. Okay, peace. And if you want to book in for a reading, you're very welcome. Just contact me. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up and also for subscribing.